what the pandemic has, has taught us is that things that we had never thought was possible are now possible. And it's accelerated a lot of the behavioral changes. So for example, you know, client calls, you know, um, before you had to, as you know, as, as, the, as the banker, I would have to visit uh, my top clients. We would go to lunch. I would visit their office just to talk. A and today, everyone understands that that's not possible. The second new normal is really how people have really uh, adapted to digital technologies in terms of banking, at least from, from where I sit, right? Because we're a bank. Uh, people have really adopted uh, tra doing transactions online. Uh, and I think it's because they were forced to. Uh, and once you're forced to, you realize how convenient it is. And the the pandemic forced them to get over the, ap the apprehension. And once they tried it, they're hooked. And for us, it's, it's shown that in many of our branches, our, our transaction levels have dropped 40 to 70 percent. Uh, and so the branches are, 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 are less crowded, uh, they're, they're less stressed because many people have begun to do their transactions on our apps and our mobile platforms. So that's good. That's the new normal. And I, I don't think we go back from that. You mentioned more digital transactions. So uh, do we see less uh, physical banks and uh, more into digital? Or uh, how will it look like in the maybe next year or in the next five years? That's a, that's a super excellent question, Ralph, right? You know, that's one of the things we think about a lot. What is the role of a branch uh, going forward? My, my belief is branches are here to stay. Uh, I don't think you can ever have a, a fairly large bank uh, without physical branches because the branches remain, in my mind, uh, a center of education, of information. Now, it's so nice to say, yes, you can find all the information online, you can find all the education online, but really when it comes to financial uh, wellness, uh, your financial concerns, it's very important that you have a face uh, that you can talk to directly, that you can engage with, because it's about trust. It's a, it's a trust factor. So it, it's like if you have kaba, right? If you are not sure, you need to see the face across you to be able to get your questions answered. And I think that's the role of a branch. Last year was a bad year because a lot of the banks took a lot of aggressive provisioning. I think the provisioning this year will continue to be fairly aggressive, although not as heavy as last year. But I think as the pandemic uh, ends and as people return to normal and no mobility resumes because we get vaccinated and you know the, vac the vaccination program of the government is going quite well, uh, hopefully by Hopefully by December, we'll come to some level where most people, if not all, uh, who want a vaccine will have their vaccine and, and therefore mobility can, can really come back and the economy will then resume. And then I, my real belief is that things go back very quickly to normal uh, because uh, we've held the economy fairly well together, as best as we could. You're quite optimistic on that na last year. Na. Uh, kasi others, I mean, this, this, this would be the last year that we experience this. But others are still uh, expecting that it will drag on even until next year. Parang, uh, sa tingin mo, sir, uh, kaya pa ba if we would uh, experience another year of uh, similar <laughs> similar uh, situation? Yeah. No, my, my fear, Ralph, is we, this is our last shot, right? We need to get the vaccination right because people uh, have dipped into their savings. You know, a lot of small businesses continue to operate uh, to make sure they can pay their employees. But these small businesses, I know for a fact, they're losing money. Uh, but the, the owners of these small businesses continue to run the business because let's face it, from 2010 to 2019 to 20, 2019, they had a good run, right? Business was good in this country. So uh, people have held back uh, they've they've dipped into their savings. They've kept people on the on their payroll, because they're optimistic that the economy will open up. And it's hired. It's hard to rehire people, right? So people have kept uh, uh, their their workers on the payroll. But hey, it's been uh, 18 months already. So how long can you dip into your savings? That that's my fear. And, and sooner or later, people will have to give up if this thing stretches out. So kailangan. We need to get over this. And that's why, you know, the government, the private sector, 
we're really encouraging the vaccination program. People really should go uh, vaccinate, 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 as they say. Uh, private sector has done their job. We've purchased our own vaccines. Uh, the government has done a tremendous job of getting vaccines on board. And so it's logistics na lang. And then this overcome the fear of some people who don't want to be vaccinated. We need to vaccinate everyone.